I did watch Chernobyl season finale, ser and series finale, rather. And that was, uh, that was something else. It's over. It was only five episodes, and it was, it was amazing. Start to finish. Vinny, don't spoil it, I haven't watched it yet. I hope you're referring to the fact that I was making jokes about spoilers for historical shows. No, Vinny, don't tell me what happened to Napoleon. Um, someone in chat just said, seems like anti-communist shit. What, Chernobyl? It is in the fact that it's, it's, it, it is what happened, um, in history, yes. Hope that's not a spoiler. It's funny how I just caused Chernobyl. To, uh, open the path to a dungeon. But anyway, yeah, it was a great show overall. Um, the dramatic... You know, the, the, the dramatic licenses they took... ...were not to the point of nonsense. Like, it, it made sense in the context of the show, and also still presented... ...the, um... ...the history of the situation. And, uh, the acting was great. The writing was really good. Bruce Bolton was in it. And, um... Yeah, it was a really good finale, to a really good show. And it was fucked up. It turns out an RBMK reactor can explode, and it's usually due to human error, and... ...the fact that, um, the lads wanted a promotion by doing a very... ...a very dangerous test. So they just, they played a little... They played a little- they flew a little too close to the sun to get a promotion, and then they just did a bunch of dumb shit. It's really- it's a really good episode. Um, also, there's a podcast about it that goes into detail about the differences and the similarities and what actually happened. It's this good. So, good, um... Good show. The reactor itself was made cheaply. Well, apparently they used graphite... ...on the tips of the rods which were used to lower the reactivity. And they did that to save money. But it ended up causing this whole thing. But it was, you know, they, they cut a lot of corners. They, they tried to cut the costs of things. And then when you pull those, those fuel rods out, those rods out all the way, and then you put them in with the highly reactive graphite substance, uh, that leads to an explosion. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. I can barely remember what I watched two hours ago, let alone, you know, actual, like, complex information. But it, it really is, um... Yeah, it didn't just happen. Like, I think what, what I learned was that it didn't just randomly happen because nuclear bad, but rather lots of, um, shortcuts and human error. Vinny, did more people die in the show? I think the casualties for Chernobyl overall was something like 31, at least 31. People are still dying from it, but yeah, it was, um, 4,000 to 93,000, there you go. Yeah. So now I have to watch a new show. I'm watching Barry for the time being. But I'm probably gonna watch, um, after that, I'm gonna watch... What am I gonna watch? Hmm. Firefly? I've seen most of Firefly. Yeah. Firefly was pretty good. I haven't seen it in a while. Xeno Warrior Princess. I bet that aged well. I bet- I bet that show looks real great. What are historically some of the worst TV shows of all time? Post-season 3 Family Guy. The Flash. Roseanne. Cry Man Devil Baby. The Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I'm gonna watch The Big Bang Theory next. I wanna get real into it. I wanna learn all the lore of the characters. I, I really wanna... ...invest myself in that cool show. The New Twilight Zone? I'm not into The New Twilight Zone. Unless you're talking about bad shows. It wasn't even that bad, it was just really mediocre. The episodes I saw. But Black Mirror comes out, so I'll watch that. See what the, you know, technology bad, I know. But it's more than just technology bad. It's usually pretty well written and enter entertaining. And in, in my experience with the show, having watched the previous seasons, I liked it. I liked their Star Trek episode, that was good. Favorite classic Twilight Zone episode. To Serve Man. That's the one that comes off 
uh, the top of my head. I don't know if it's the best one, but I think most people know that one. That and the weird, like, nurses with the fucked up faces. Of course, William Shatner in, um, that one episode. Hi, I'm William Shatner, and this is William Shatner, Shatner, Shatner. Welcome to William Shatner, Shatner. Shatner, Shatner. I mean, you know, the thing about Shatner is he could put his name on anything. And he does. He puts it on everything. William Shatner's tech war. And it works, because people like William Shatner, and they know the name, so go with it.